Ladies and gentlemen, this is Keith from I Repair Autos. Today we're going to be talking about Mercedes and not just the ML, but you know, the C Class, the SLKs, the GLEs, all of them. All of these cars have adaptive learning. Uh, Keith, what's adaptive learning? Adaptive learning means, or it's basically software that's built into the SUV in this particular instance, or the vehicle, the Mercedes vehicle whereby the car over a period of time will learn your particular driving pattern if you're doing a lot of highway driving if you're doing a lot of you know city driving the transmission is going to essentially learn that pattern of driving when do you shift most of the time and when i say when do when you shift it's when the transmission shifts it's if it's shifting between a certain RPM range, a certain speed, over time, it's gonna learn, look, I just need to do that, period. And when it's doing that, you know, over time, you may change your driving pattern. You may, all of a sudden, you know, if you're driving a lot during the school year to drop off the kids, you might be doing a lot of back roads. And then in the summertime, you're doing a lot of highway driving. But anyway, let's show you today how to reset that and I'm already sitting in the vehicle all my doors are closed all right I'm gonna take the key and put it in the ignition if you have a push button uh, push to start you're gonna push it once very fast without holding it down to prevent it from starting but for the keys we're gonna put it to position 2 right and position 2 will basically turn everything on and what we're gonna do we're gonna turn the radio off if that's on we're gonna turn the air conditioner off if that's on as well. If we have our auto lights on, we're gonna turn those off. We want everything in the car to be off. Headlights, inside interior lights, doors are closed. You're not gonna to touch any switch. You're not gonna play with the steering wheel. You're not gonna lock the car. You're not gonna put your seatbelt on. This is it. While, is it, while it's in position two, you're then gonna put your feet or your foot on the gas pedal. And you're just, you're just gonna have to imagine me doing that. I'm gonna put my foot on the gas pedal, right? And I'm gonna hold it down for 20 seconds. Once I'm done holding it down for 20 seconds, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna slowly take my foot off the gas pedal and while it's off the gas pedal, I am then going to turn the ignition back to off. Remove the key. And while I've removed the key, I'm going to open the door, get out of the vehicle, close the door, and I'm going to leave the car alone for about five minutes. Now what this does, it sends the computer for the transmission into reset mode. It's going to put it back into the mode that it was in when you first bought the car brand new. If you bought your car used, you really need to do this. Because the, whoever owned it before you had a particular driving pattern that's not anywhere near yours. Now, what should you do if you have multiple drivers? That's a good question. What should you do if you, you know, how often should you do this? Well, the first question, if you have multiple drivers, you should do this whenever you're going to jump in the car and you're going to be using the car for a while. If you're using the car for just an errand or two, don't bother doing this. But if you're going to be swapping cars out, definitely do this. If you haven't done this in a while, you really need to do this. If you're going to be taking a long trip, a long highway road trip, reset it. If you've never done this, reset it. But if you have done this recently... In the last six months or so and when i say six months six to twelve months do it because as the seasons change you drive differently transmission shifts differently if you're going to be no longer dropping the kids off because it's summer or or you're, you're coming off of summer break and it's back to school time do it it does not hurt it's actually good to do this so with that i'm going to say remember this also works for different Mercedes vehicles. They're all the same when it comes to this adaptive learning mode. I hope this has been helpful. 
It really uh, makes a big difference in performance of your vehicle. You're going to notice that it shifts a lot smoother, a lot quicker, a lot more like when you first got the car. So with that, I'm going to say subscribe, share, like this video, and don't forget, send me any comments or questions you may have. Thanks. Keith from My Repair Autos, and I'm out.